And still in South Africa, Kiswahili has been approved as an optional language for the country's schools. Kiswahili is the first African language to be introduced into the curriculum. CGTN Zulisa Njamila has more. Kiswahili is a Bantu language with linguistic similarities with many African languages spoken on the continent. South Africa has 11 official languages that are taught in schools. Over the years, a number of other foreign languages have been included in the official curriculum as alternative subjects. They include French, Mandarin and German. Kiswahili will be the only African language from across the South African borders to be included in the formal curriculum. We asked the department why it took such a long time to include an African language in the school's syllabus. This is one of the biggest languages in Africa that is homegrown. And uh, we were always of the view that we needed to introduce it, but we needed to do some research work to understand exactly uh, what it would need for us to implement it, but we believe it's good for trade on the continent, it's good for the people of Africa, and we want everyone to be proud of it. Um, and, and now we, we are going to, to spend money ourselves as the South African government to make sure that it, it prospers and it thrives and that a lot more people uh, learn it, uh, particularly from our schools. Kiswahili originates in Africa, therefore it will not be hard to find teachers. The research work has been done, we know what is required. All that we need to do now is to contact those countries on the continent where they have sufficient teachers to come through to South Africa to be based here, uh, maybe located in our universities and uh, through our partnership with the Department of Higher Education and Training we'll be able to make sure that they are, they are fully funded and that they come through to our schools to teach first and foremost but also impart the knowledge uh, onto our teachers. The department firmly believes that this is a right move towards helping with social cohesion with fellow Africans. We have had a lot of challenges when it comes to xenophobia and people using derogatory terms when referring to other African people. That shows that we don't understand that we're actually of the same origins. We all come from the same place. If we want social harmony, if we want social cohesion, the language is the best vehicle for you to do that. The language will be introduced in schools in 2020. Yulisa Njamela for CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.